we've just had a ruling out of Germany's constitutional court rejecting the challenges to the country's participation in the Eurozone rescue plans of Greece and indeed other Eurozone countries. Elliot Gotkin is with us from Frankfurt now. Elliot, take us exactly through what the court has been saying. Well, this has been coming out in the last few minutes, uh, Mariam. Uh, as you say, they have rejected the uh, challenges uh, to Germany's participation in the bailouts. What they've also said, though, is that this is not a blank check for future rescues and that this is not blanket authorization for uh, new funds. And perhaps the key thing here, Mariam, is that it says that the government would have to uh, consult the uh, Budget Committee of Parliament uh, with regards to uh, future disbursements of funds. And I suppose that that is uh, perhaps uh, among the less draconian uh, uh, caveats that uh, people expected the court uh, to rule uh, in conjunction with this rejection of the suits, which, Mariam, was not completely unexpected. Okay, so with this in mind, what is the significance of this ruling? What are the implications in practice, Elliot? Well, the immediate reaction that we've seen is, uh, is the euro and uh, the German stock market uh, rising uh, slightly. Uh, but in terms of uh, practicalities, what this will mean is that there will probably be uh, further delays when uh, countries come knocking or want money from the European Financial Stability uh, Facility. Um, and, of course, when countries do come knocking, uh, usually uh, the markets like to get an answer straight away. And uh, if this is going to result in delays, then clearly that's something that's not going to go down well with the markets. But clearly the overall feeling right now, the overall reaction from the markets has been a positive one that the suits uh, that uh, wanted uh, the uh, Germany's participation in past bailouts to be ruled illegal uh, has been rejected by the highest court here in Germany, Marianne. All right, thanks very much indeed, Elliot Gokin there in Frankfurt for us.